Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to record PS4 gameplay with your Elgato HD 60S Plus. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do before you connect anything to your Elgato is open up your PlayStation 4. We're going to be coming to your settings. We're going to be scrolling down in your settings and we're going to be coming to system. And once your system settings opens up, we're going to make sure the enable HDCP is disabled. This is important, otherwise you cannot capture gameplay from your HDMI on your PlayStation 4. Now keep in mind, this will disable the TV and video section on your PlayStation. So while this is disabled, you cannot open up YouTube, Amazon, Netflix, or any other apps like that. You can come back in here and re-enable this after, but you'll need to disconnect your Elgato first. From this point, we're going to be connecting the HDMI out from the back of our PS4, PS4 Slim or PS4 Pro. The process is exactly the same for all of these. And then we're going to be connecting this HDMI out from our PlayStation 4 into the input of our Elgato. We're then also going to be connecting the USB-C cable into the input of the Elgato. And we're going to be plugging this into our PC. The last thing we're going to need to do is take another HDMI and we're going to be plugging it into the output of the Elgato. And then we're going to be connecting this up to any monitor, TV or any sort of external screen you would like to use. From this point, we should have a full display on our actual output screen. Once you turn on your PS4 from this point, everything should be connected up. And now we have two methods of actually recording and or streaming our gameplay on our PC. Now, thankfully, there is actually no drivers required here. So if you don't want to use the 4K capture utility and you'd rather use OBS, feel free to use the chapter markers on screen and now to jump to the OBS section. Otherwise, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Elgato 4K capture utility and I'll be showing you OBS a little bit later on. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description down below. You simply come here, select Mac or Windows, and then just download and install the software. From this point, once the software opens up, you'll instantly see your display here. And you can see I can already see my PlayStation 4 being captured directly in here. To change any of your settings, you simply click on the cogwheel on the top right, including where to put your output files, the output recording, the recording quality, the recording resolution. So feel free to come in here and change all of these according to your computer. Make sure your video encoder is set to your graphics card and set up the bitrate and anything else exactly how you need it or depending on how much space you have because depending on what you do you may use a lot of hard drive space with this so that's something to keep in mind from this point once you're ready to start recording you simply need to click the red circle at the bottom of the 4k capture utility and your recording will start right away once you're finished with your capture you can simply click the red button again your capture will be stopped and then your file will be outputted to the location that you set up in your settings previously now the last thing i'm going to be showing you is how to set this and connect it up with obs to do this is also really simple we simply need to come to obs select any scene you would like to add this to come down to the sources we're going to be clicking on the plus option and we're going to be adding a video capture device if we select this we can then choose a device from the drop down we simply need to make sure our game capture hd 60s plus is selected here and instantly you'll see your video is being picked up if you're not picking up video right away i would make sure that your 4k capture utility is closed as the output cannot display to two applications at the same time so you can only have it recording or previewed in one at a time so this is important to keep in mind if it doesn't show up here i'd simply close down the 4k capture utility from this point you can use obs exactly as you would normally i'm not going to be showing you all the steps and details you can simply click start recording or start streaming depending on what you're doing and this process will also be the same for streamlabs obs if you want to bring it directly to twitch or youtube or anywhere else that you're streaming anyway guys it's as easy as that to stream or record playstation gameplay using an elgato hd 60s plus if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel until next time guys as always keep it saucy peace